because I think it's like you should really have like in real life a bumper sticker in your car that says I'd rather be watching Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> like really. I would rather have been watching Super Mario Brothers. Exactly. Exactly. Mario. That's true. It's insanity. I'll, I'll tell you why. That's the that is I didn't say it in the, in the episode. That was the reason why I picked Mortal Kombat was because eventually we're going to talk Super Mario Brothers. We're comp- it, why are you so compelled to want to talk about kids movies? Uh, well, especially like there's a difference between like Mortal Kombat and Super Mario Brothers. Is the difference between those two is that one is somewhat like. Competent, competent, like not just competent, but like mm-hmm. and and references the move, the video game on enough, an, enough to have like just to meet the base minimum for like respect for mm-hmm. its audience. Whereas the other mm-hmm. is a cat, like a just straight up evil cash grab that that mm-hmm. wanted to capitalize on the the video game or whatever. Like I understand the the so bad it's good aspect to mm-hmm. it but yeah but we we've talked about that before it's like you don't see that um you, you, mine's, mine's the fun factor yeah the fun factor overtakes everything so there's no mm-hmm. there's no you can't see the distinction it's just it doesn't matter because there's no such thing as a so good it's bad it's good because it's good it's good because it's fun and i'm yeah. entertained like, and like to, and i agree you know Fire. i wasn't entertained by last time there to, was no fun to some degree, I guess I I understand that, but to to have this fire in you, to want to keep revisiting that, and to bring it up and want to talk about it, that's the part I don't understand. Because literally, like you, we have one life to live. There's uh, mm-hmm. there's so many movies to see, and especially things that you haven't seen before. You know, like mm-hmm. I think you should keep going with your series on. Uh, is it? Uh, is it, worth a, is it worth a hype? Oh, is it worth a hype? Okay. Yeah, because you could do a million of those. And you're already, mm-hmm. 99%, we already know the answer to them. But I'm saying, like, what compels you, Dr. Frenzy here, to want to keep revisiting things? Is it, it's really, is it that it's fun? It's not that, it has nothing to do with the fact that the whole world hates it. Like your no. Like, your favorite because things are usually the ones that everyone hates. You know what I mean? Like, universally... Jason Goes to Hell is the one Friday the 13th movie that oh. everyone hates, but it's like your favorite horror movie of all time. No, no, it's my favorite Friday the 13th. Oh, second to Pet Cemetery. Cemetery, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm right because no, you've told no, me. No, no, I mean, it, it, I, you know, people have actually, I won't say their names. I'm, I know they're not listening, but, you know, people called me out on that. They say that I only pick the movies that people hate just because I want to start arguments. I'm like, no. No, but why? I mean, it, why it, is it, it though? You have to like question yourself. Well, it's not my. I'll, I'll just say this: it's not. It just seems like, a, and of course, you know, let's talk about horror fans. You know, a lot they're just spoiled snobs. But why? You know, I, I don't. Why? Know why they, why, why are, do they hate fucking a Nightmare on Elm Street five? So why are they? Have a lot of fun with it. Why are they snobs? Because they have enough sense to see it once, no. to be disappointed, and then to move on with their lives. I understand the ones that get hung up on hating things, but I don't think about Nightmare on Elm Street because it's literally the worst movie I've ever seen. Well, no, no. I, you know, hand on the Bible, hand to God, whatever, however you want to phrase that, I'm not loving these movies just because everyone else does. Well, there has to be some, there has to be more to it than that. Because I don't, I can guarantee it's not that. 100%. Guarantee it's not that. That has a little bit to do with that, though. You think so? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I fucking love Nightmare on Elm Street 5. I fucking love Jason Goes to Hell. I, I think it ultimately comes down to, like, how you exercise your time to waste. Like, your free time. Like, mm-hmm. person to person. Because, to me, that's why it's personal. Is that mm-hmm. I don't understand. This is the why the red flags go up. Is how you could not see how, um, what a monumental waste of time it is. To, to be so caught up in these bat, reliving these horrors over and over again. It's not a waste of time if I'm having fun. I have a <laughs> lot of fun with these so called bad movies or hated movies. I can sit down, phone not in my hand to distract me, no music, no nothing playing. I can sit down in the dark, watch. Jason Goes to Hell or Elm Street 5 or whatever 
movie you pull out of your ass that everyone hates but me. Watch it from beginning to end. Focused and enjoy okay. every Now minute. it's starting to the more you repeat these things and the more I the years go by, one day we're gonna be sixty talking about this. And you're just like, I just <laughs> love Jason Goose to Hell. It's like a you know, it's like a good friend. You just put it on and it is. sit down and catch up with them, see how they're doing, see how the little hot girl's doing, the little redhead and the fat bitch that runs the <laughs> check in from time to time. Drinking Leslie Jordan. No. No, but it's really like you're like an X Man. You really I'm are. An you're an X Man and that's one of your superpowers. Really. We're, we we <laughs> might as well be like in that? a we might as well be in a fucking M. Night Shyamalan movie, like Unbreakable or whatever. This is your superpower, for real. What? That like you can a, watch uh, these monument, not just like bad movies. Like, you know, like mm -hmm. the new Mortal Kombat is kind of bad. Like monumentally yeah. bad films over okay. and over and get so much out of it. And just that's, that's, I want you to give it other it's almost like you're a, no, you would be an X-Man and you would be in that new, you'd be in the Suicide Squad. That's your superpower. <laughs> That was fun. I like that one a lot. Yeah, yeah.